Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And I know I went MIA for the past, I want to say five-ish months. There's just been a lot going on and I've just been honestly burnt out, busy with work. I went back to work full time. So it's just a lot's been going on that I've been trying to process myself. And, you know, I've just been in a little makeup like rut video rut i don't know what it is but i'm gonna be filming once again i'm so sorry and before i get started i just want to say i've missed you guys and i'm happy to be back on camera and making videos for you guys so today's video i'm actually gonna do a chit chat to get rid of me just so i can catch you guys up with some of the stuff that's been going on uh my life update all that jazz so i am filming on my vlog camera just because I wanted to do something a little different and do like a non-formal video. And if you guys like this type of video, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be more than happy to keep doing videos like these. So where do I start off? Um, so like I said in the beginning, I was in a little bit of a makeup rut. I don't know exactly why. I feel like, actually no, that's a lie. I just feel like I was a bit burnt out with all the videos I was making and honestly I feel like I wasn't in it 1000% and I hate that feeling and I thought about taking a little break which it turned out to be more than just a little break. I was actually away from YouTube for quite a bit which I didn't like. I didn't miss you guys but I did want to give you guys some good news. We are officially getting a house. I'm so excited. There's going to be a lot of moving vlog content as well. And I'm just happy to be vlogging and happy to finally have a house of our own. So we're going to be moving in like towards the end of September. So that's when our house is officially done. We have power in the home. We did get a new construction, so I'm super excited about that. So that's one good thing out of this little break that happened is that we're finally going to have a house. I'm finally going to be able to film peacefully in my home without any interruptions. I feel like that was like one big thing as well is that once you live like with your family and you do YouTube, it's kind of hard to film when they're around because they don't really understand the concept of YouTube. Or at least some don't and I don't know I always feel awkward talking to the camera when they were around because I feel like they can hear me even with my husband in the room too it was just awkward like I needed to be in my own little space so I'm happy that I'm finally be able to have that once again another thing is that I'm actually gonna start at my own business which by business, I mean my own daycare. If you guys don't follow me or this is your first time following me, haven't seen any of my videos, I have talked about that I do work with my husband's aunt and she runs her own family daycare. And I found that I really enjoy being with the kids and I just wanted to be on my own as well. And I'm just so happy to finally have like a business to call my own and happy that I'm going to be part of more kids lives if that makes any sense. Don't worry, I will be making video content, video content, <laughs> makeup content on my channel as well as like vlog style content, which brings up the conversation of should I just keep my makeup channel strictly about makeup or should I just make a whole different channel just for vlogging? And so whoever wants to watch any of my vlogs can just go to the other channel or I can just sprinkle in some on this channel. I don't know. I want to just sprinkle in some in this channel just because this is like my baby. And I don't know if most of you guys would like mind me doing that. It's still up in the air. I'm still thinking about it. But don't worry, just because I am going to be running a daycare, like my own daycare, doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making videos. Don't worry, I will be making makeup content. Like, that has always been my priority. I love makeup. I love everything makeup. I love everything that has to do with makeup. Like, this, 
this is my passion it's my baby and i feel so bad because i have been neglecting my channel for such a long time and there's no excuse but only moving forward from now on i'm just excited i have trying new makeup off camera like this is the new natasha denona what's this called high glam concealer brightening and hydrating crease proof serum concealer it's pretty good i like it i wouldn't say it's like my top favorites at the moment but it it works it's it's good what else has been going on other than me opening up my own business and having my own house once again and i just want you guys to be able to go on my channel and find it to be like a fun space to just watch videos watch makeup videos and you know see what goes on in my life and i am going to be taking you guys through the process of me starting my own daycare too i actually have my my application filled out and everything to do so send out i'm super excited to do that as i feel like it's been a long time coming honestly in regards to all of that it was just a matter of time. I'm just happy that I finally pulled the trigger to do it. Also, I can't wait to decorate my playroom. If you guys don't know, I am going to be running my daycare from my own home. So I do have to have it like pristine all the time and make sure I'm following the guidelines and rules licensing requires. And right now I'm actually getting ready to go to my niece's and nephew's baptism. Well actually just passed but they're doing dinner and I wasn't really feeling that well in the morning but now I feel a little bit better. So that's why I'm getting ready right now and I decided to pull out my camera. Declutter a lot of my makeup as well as i was on my little hiatus from youtube which is crazy to think about i have so much makeup and i feel bad that i have so much and i don't really use so i've been donating a lot of it to like friends and people i know that need it or like don't have the resources to buy makeup so that's what i've been doing lately what else has been going on me and my husband have been doing well we're super excited about our new home and starting this new chapter of our lives. We are going to go tomorrow to get some measurements for like a refrigerator and look at our space for our laundry room. Like once you guys see my laundry room, you guys are going to be so shocked at how like big it is. Like I'm honestly so happy that we have such a beautiful home like i'm just so excited about it like i can't wait to decorate it and show you guys would you guys like a uh, house tour you guys let me know down below i feel like i'm so rusty and just all over the place when it comes to talking to the camera but honestly i'm just happy to be here that's what it is also if you guys don't follow me on instagram i don't know if you guys know but i did go to the taylor swift eras tour which was absolutely amazing i have a bunch of videos that i took from the tour of me screaming my lungs out as like I'm singing, which is pretty embarrassing. But you know, at that moment, I didn't care just because I was in the moment. But it was finally nice to see her in concert. Like I've been waiting for this moment since the Lovers Fest, which was supposed to happen. But since COVID hit, like that just didn't end up happening, which is fine. It's okay. I mean, I'm just glad I was able to experience that Eros tour. I don't know if I'll be posting clips in this video. Probably be too embarrassed to do so. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you probably would have seen like some little snippets and videos that I've posted on there and pictures. I went with my sister. That was so much fun. Also, now that I've noticed that I'm using the Jaclyn Cosmetics bronzer, did you guys hear she might... She might end up closing her brand this is crazy speaking about makeup like i haven't had like any inklings to buy makeup i've been so bored of it recently i feel like everything is just the same everyone's coming out with the same products everyone is hyping up there's a bunch of makeup that i'm not excited for it's just been a lot and it's been nice not buying a bunch of makeup to test out which is kind of like you know redundant because that's what i do i review and buy makeup all the time but it was kind of nice taking a little break from all that especially now that i'm getting a house i have to be like a little bit more strict with my spending 
since I do have like a lot of like expenses coming up in regards to like furniture, things for my daycare, all that jazz. Ugh, I can never get enough of this. I actually have to buy a second one because my first one broke. Don't know how that happened, but it completely shattered. I have it at my in-laws house and I have an extra one here at my parents house to use so I can film with. But you know, I'm not mad at having two. One's broken and the other one's completely intact. I don't know, it's because of the baked formula. That's why it's just easier to break. But I also want to let you guys know that I want you guys to feel free to let me know what exactly I need to change from my videos. What should I do differently? What kind of content do you guys want to see? What do you want to consume? Like This is a very important conversation I want to have with you guys because I want to be filming the same things over and over again and have you guys be bored of it. Sometimes I get bored of it, but I've also noticed there's been a lot of like lack in the beauty community when it comes to like makeup and all that stuff. Um, I still see some here and there. I don't know if it's just my page. It's it's gone like completely just lifestyle vlogs now. It's not very much makeup related anymore on YouTube. I don't know what that is, but you know, I do want to know what you guys are more interested in watching. And also let me know what other YouTubers do you guys like watching. I've been watching a lot of lifestyle, which is what I've been like been seeing a lot on YouTube, which is not bad, but I do miss my OG BDQ gurus. I feel like they completely dropped off of the face of the earth now completely it's like once in a blue moon i'll see someone post a video but yeah i'm just happy to be back in the swing of things i want to do different things on my channel that's one main reason why i'm making this video too a little bit more informal as well where it's not like as structured as like my past videos i just wanted to let you guys know that i miss you guys you guys are like my friends and i feel like i've been neglecting seeing my friends and that makes me really sad because you know this is a huge part of what I do too like I like connecting with you guys and it's just been a minute since I've actually made a video and just sat down and talked to you guys about everything also not so long ago I want to say it was like last year my husband and I found out that it's gonna be hard for us to actually have a baby ourselves so that's another thing that's been kind of in my mind lately not lately what am i trying to say here it's something that we've talked about and right now i feel like we're just gonna focus on ourselves before we even start thinking about doing ivf or you know really start trying hard to have a baby naturally before we start ivf i know for a fact that if we have a kid it might be a rainbow baby that's something i've not really been willing to talk about with you guys personally but now that, you know, I want to be more transparent with you guys and more, you know, relatable to you guys because that's really what's been going on in my life, which feels weird to be talking about. Like, I've never really mentioned it to anyone except for, like, my family and, like, a few of my close friends, of course. A little bit more relieved now that I get to talk with you guys and express to you guys what I've been going through. I'm still pretty young. I am only 28, so I still have a lot to look forward to. Yeah, that's literally everything that's been going on in my life. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I just feel like I would was just not in the right mind to film. I felt that I wasn't going to put my heart and soul into it, which I didn't like that. And I knew that it would be felt through my videos if I didn't put my soul, heart and soul into it. Sorry, I can't talk and put a lip liner on. Okay, now that I have my lip liner on, this has actually been my favorite lip liner since I've gotten it. It's the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Pinky Brown. It's such a beautiful shade. And I've actually gotten my the YSL Lip Glaze, Candy Glaze, what's it called? Rouge Candy Glaze Lipsticks. These are like very balmy. So I have this color. And I have like a clear one, like a pinkish clear one. I think I'm gonna go with the shade 15, which is that nudish brown shade that I picked up and showed you guys. 
and I'm just gonna pack this on my lips. Just like that. Gosh, I feel like a brand new person. My hair is all done. The last thing I need to do is put on some earrings. And if you guys haven't seen already, but I did get my con my tragus and my conch done, which I honestly don't regret at all. I don't know why I haven't done this a lot sooner. And I definitely want to get more piercings, that's for sure. If you guys put on your earrings without looking in the mirror, mirror geez, I can't talk right now. I envy you because I wish I had the ability to do all that. Recently, my parents went to Colombia, so they got me this really cute bracelet, which I'm going to wear today. Wear my ring, wedding ring, and this ring, and then... This really cute Colombia bracelet. If you guys don't know, I am Colombian. Is it gonna focus? There we go. So cute. I wear that on this arm. Also, we did also get a new car, which is pretty exciting. We got a Tesla Model 3 uh, performance and I love that car so freaking much. I don't know why people will talk so much crap about Teslas. So if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, but I honestly really love this car. Um, it's going to be more convenient now that our home is forced to have solar so it is, since it is a new construction, which is pretty awesome since we can just charge at home. All right, guys, I know this was like a pretty short video. I just want to get one up on YouTube just so I can explain where I've been, everything that's been going on, all the new video content I'll be posting. I'm just super excited to be back. I don't know how many times I'll be saying that, but I am. I'm very much excited to be back on YouTube and filming for you guys. Let me know about all the content ideas that I gave you guys. If you guys are more than happy to see them or make a new channel for you guys to see more vlogging stuff. But yes. I will be trying to at least post one video or two, two videos up a week for you guys. This week, I'll try to put up two videos. If not, then I will we'll do so following week. But I am very excited to be with you guys once again. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video.